what was Lord Alfred Hayes, the B round? Uh, he seemed, <laughs> with the, obviously, the English attitude, I'm English, I'm being biased because he's yeah. one of my favourites, but he seemed like to be such a nice person to be around. Yeah, Alfred was a trip. Uh, he really, we, um, we had such a good time. And, yeah. and really, uh, thank the Lord for him. And I do mean the Lord and also Lord Alfred. Uh, that, because he was a true lord, I'm sure you know that. It was, yep. wasn't a gimmick. And um, he, man, if it wasn't for him, there's no way I, you know, that I would have lasted as long as I did because uh, he, he definitely looked out for me. But he was uh, just so much fun to be around. Um, qu quickly, I want to say, though, he, he is in the Hall of Fame, but I am certainly not happy about it the way it was done. Um, yeah, he should have been honored as a, a regular inductee, not, uh, you know, how they it's kind of, it reminds me of what they do, you know, like with Major League Baseball. And then these writers get together and they'll put somebody in without really, you know, a vote. And yeah. uh, Alfred, you know, a lot of people don't uh, maybe know all of his history, but he was I, I would imagine that folks in UK do in the UK do uh, that he was a, a, a you know, a great worker. Um, uh, I've seen a lot of tape on him from when he worked back in the day and he was a judo champion. So, you know, right. he, he was very good in the ring and, uh, a tremendous heel. Uh, he played that arrogant Englishman and, uh, looked down his nose at you and God, he could just go for hours cutting promos. And, uh, I don't think he was, he, you know, the, the latter part of his career, he was always a baby face, but I, he was never really comfortable with that. Uh, he always wanted to be the heel. <laughs> and uh, we uh, we did, were able to have some fun where he did get to get to be, a, you know, a little bit on the healer side when we did play by play. If you look back then, you know, he'd give it to me and, yeah. uh, you know, just to stir it up. And uh, that was pretty much for UK audiences. We did, all the matches we did, a lot of them were either, you know, on the VHS tapes or or for Sky Television. And so a lot of that play-by-play, -play, a lot of the Americans never got the chance to hear because we were, you know, re-voicing, uh, you know, matches that Bobby and Gorilla had done or or Vince and, uh, and Jesse. So, a lot of a lot of Americans really never got to hear us together, and I thought we really uh, became a pretty good team uh, yeah. early on. You know, I didn't really know anything about doing play by play, and and Alfred, you know, coached me along the way. I would get the opportunity here and there to, to work with Bobby, um, you know, to get better, and uh, Alfred was just always a blast. And we lived in Stanford together, so we got to go out. And he, man, he parted me under the table. And I was, you know, 15 years younger than him, 20 years younger than him. And uh, he was, you know, we, and Stanford wasn't a real big city. So uh, we, 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 we hit it pretty good back then. I wasn't uh, married uh, early on then. And so we had some really, really uh, good times. And, uh, but, you know, we got to travel a lot together. And he w he really became a, a, a tremendous friend of mine, you know. And yeah. uh, when he was sick, after he left the, the WWF, I actually snuck down to Dallas where he was living and, and saw him in the hospital before he passed. Right. And uh, it was, you know, I look back at that and I just, knowing Alfred, I just knew that that was the last time I was going to see him. Yeah. They had, uh, he had um, one of his feet was amputated. He'd had, you know, you know how these guys, their bodies are a wreck. Yeah. And uh, once that happened to him, you know, it, it would just took the life out of him uh, in a lot of ways. And he was still the same old Alfred, but I just knew um, that it was never going to be the same for him. Hey, it's James here. Hope you enjoyed that interview clip. I'm guessing you did because you are hearing my voice. So if you want to check out the full interview, click on the box on the left hand side. If you want to subscribe to the channel, which will help me a lot, click on the box in the middle. And if you want to watch me other interview clips from interviews I've done previous, then click on the box on the right hand side. So, thanks, and I'll catch you in the next one.